Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, we're gonna learn how to cook bitter cock stir fried egg. All you need is bitter cock, eggs, garlic, and salt to taste. So today, we're not gonna use any sugar and it's very healthy making a little kids want to eat this bitter cock stir fried egg. So first of all, I'm gonna cut half of the bitter cock and slice it in another half, you can see here. Today I'm going to prepare for two packs, that's why I only use half a bitter gourd and two eggs. If you want for the whole family, you can use the whole bitter gourd and four eggs or depends on how many this person is there, you can add on the eggs. Remember to scrape out the bitter gourd, especially the white dish part, to remove all the bitterness from the bitter gourd. Because that is the part where it is really bitter. So I'm using a spoon now, scraping it all out, making sure that it is clean enough so it will be less bitter for anyone when they have this dish. You will want to cut the bitter gourd into thin slices because when you fry this bitter gourd, when you are taking it, you do not want a person to have a big chunk so it would be very bitter if they were to bite it. So a thin slice is a great way to reduce the bitterness. So as you can see here, I don't keep the end, I remove it. So if it's cooking for a family, you can just add on the eggs, it won't affect much on the bitter gourd. So currently I'm doing half a bitter gourd with two eggs. And you can see here the type of the bitter gourd I use is organic, but you can use any other type. But make sure that the veins are bigger. So add on into hot boiling water, 1 teaspoon of salt and add your finely cut bitter gourd into the boiling water. Leave it there to boil and while you prepare your egg. So you can see here I have two eggs so I beat them up and then yeah so you can see I mix them up really well. And for garlic. I finely crush two garlics and finely chop them so they have this kind of sweet aroma for your stir fried bitter gourd. So how to know that your bitter gourd is done and you don't want to over boil them? Mostly you can do the taste test but for me I'll just wait like this um, bitter gourd is floating above and there is a little bubble. Normally, it's around 5 minutes to 7 minutes, depends on how fine you cut your bitter gourd. So, I will have cooked them for 5 minutes and now I'm going to rinse them. You can see I'm straining this bitter gourd, I've poured them out and I'll rinse them with cool water to remove any excess bitterness there. So, this is how the bitterness is reduced by boiling the bitter gourd. I will now prepare a pan and one tablespoon of oil. I'll add in the two garlics that I finely chopped. So I'm gonna wait for the oil to heat up a bit. Then I'll add the finely chopped garlic. I'm gonna fry the garlic until you have that aroma coming out. So I'm gonna fry them. Now I can smell the garlic aroma. I'm gonna add in my thinly sliced bitter gourd. So you can see here I'm frying them with the garlic to make sure that the aroma is at the bitter gourd and also half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add water. You can see this water cover around half the bitter gourd. Then I'm gonna pour the egg onto it. So I'm trying not to break the egg but I, if you have a cover for it that would be great. But I do not have a cover for my pan, so I have to be really careful. Make sure all the bitter gourd is sticked onto your egg. If you have a cover, you do not need to flip like I do. Normally, a sunny side yolk kind of feeling will be perfect. So there you go, an easy stir fried bitter gourd without sugar to make it sweet and eatable, edible for your little kids. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Uh, good luck and please do comment on how this recipe helps you.